now let's start with the random search let's name this section as random search okay now what first uh, thing first what we are going to do is from model selection we are going to call our random search okay so let's call it from scikit-learn dot model selection import randomize search cv similarly over here also we have to create a grid or uh, random from that grid it will select values randomly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just copy out the same thing we are going to take the same values okay and let's keep a bit of wider values let's keep to 150 and let's keep to 2 and the next thing that we need to do is we need to define a object for that class so let's create random search is equal to randomize search and then let's uh, take random forest random forest classifier okay the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to pass my grid my present grid over here and the other things are let's keep the same so we have cv2 uh, cv equals to 2 scoring equals to r2 and jobs is minus 1 you can also keep an iteration see we have a lot of uh, hyperparameters over here it's up to you which all you want to tune so as of now i'm just keeping everything fixed keeping everything fixed uh let's take other hyper parameters also which can be tuned and jobs can be tuned up then we have uh verbos verbos is something which you can uh tune it up uh let's take an iter also we have an iter an iter uh, let's set it to 50 you can tune it up to using a random search and then if you want to keep a random state then that's fine also so let's, as of now let's not keep anything so after this the next thing that i need to do is as i have created an object for this class i will just fit it with x train and y train it will take quite few seconds not much more than what we uh, took for grid search but yeah should be giving me some good values too as i've taken a wider perspective order over here so random search dot best score uh, we have 40 eventually which is quite less than what we had for grid search because we have a wider field over here okay and the next thing is let's check out the params best params so you see an estimate of 55 and max features is something uh, 304. So let's copy this, paste it out over here. I think uh, m features the same value. And for n estimators, I have 55. You see, I'm getting 42. I'm getting the value 42. Other than that, you can just uh, copy out the other things that were scoring. Okay, let's copy these. Paste it out over here. Oops, we're getting uh, CD. Oops, CD. It's, uh, An iter hmm. so you see we have set the other stuff and almost we are getting the same values so it's on up to you if you want to keep this but as of now let's remove the and let's run back if you keep uh, keep a random state fixed we will get the exact value okay. let's keep random state equals to 101 and you will get the exact value as i am getting so 
you can uh, check the values what we were getting normally let's copy it out and have a quick comparison without using random search we are get getting the mean absolute error as 45 msc as 3137 rmsc as 56 and you can see that after using a random search to get the best hyperparameters we got 43 2957 and rmsc 54 so that's how powerful your random search and grid search can get up to so that's it for this video in our next uh, video we are going to start out with a new section so let's catch up on in our new next section